So this year I was thinking of doing a Sleepy Hollow display for Halloween. Here's my house. There's a tree. I'm gonna make these pumpkins with seven heads in them. I'm gonna make some more. And some more. And then put regular pumpkins in with them. And then put up our scary scarecrow. You got it? Good. Rawr. So you start off with your pumpkin here. Then you get a severed face. I got this one off of eBay. Get some liquid latex, some unrolled cotton balls, and some great stuff spray foam. We're gonna start off by tracing out the design that we want our face to fit into on our pumpkin. See, originally I was about to do like half a pumpkin face in there. I abandoned that plan later. I'll show you where. Once that's all carved out, you're gonna put your face on the inside and spray foam it there gonna end up looking like that once it's all dry there's your face see that was gonna be a pumpkin eye I decided against it so I just glued it back into place and it's not gonna matter anyways because once we cover it with this liquid latex and these unrolled cotton balls you won't be able to notice it it's gonna look like this we let that dry 24 hours and it's gonna look like this now we're gonna move on to our stem you take some pipe insulation cut it up like this Get some of this shrink wrap. Shrink wrap each individual little section. It's gonna look like this. Now we're gonna bust out the heat gun. We're gonna melt this sucker. Then I'm gonna twist it up like a braid, see? Put more plastic over top of it. The more plastic, the better. We're gonna melt that next too. Then we're gonna top it with some even heavier plastic and melt that. Now it's looking sweet. Now we're going back to great stuff. We're gonna grate stuff around the stem and inside of it to stick it on there. Then while we're at it, put some great stuff on this pumpkin too to give it some texture. This really makes it pop and look wow, you know what I mean? Then we're gonna let that dry 24 hours. The next step, we're gonna put the heavy plastic over top of the pumpkin. This is like a uh, plastic drop cloth for painting or for getting rid of things, if you know what I mean. We're gonna go ahead and melt that sucker to the pumpkin to give it more texture. You could see that the spray foam is starting to burn. Next step is to spray paint this whole thing black. Then we're gonna dry brush it. Pumpkin orange. Coffee bean mixed with, uh, what is this, green beret for the stem and a little bit of dark scarlet in there. This, my friends, is a dry brush technique. Dip some paint on your paintbrush and dry off the dip so that it doesn't pop too much. If it gets too bright in sections like that, you can always pat it dry with a paper towel or a sponge. I'm mixing all kinds of colors in there. Some green, some orange, just to get this thing looking grotesque. For the stem, I went straight green in that coffee bean. Now the front of this pumpkin, I wasn't satisfied with the texture, so I re-spray foamed it, painted it black again, and then I'm just going over it again with the dry brush. Boom. Yeah, that looks awesome. He's fantastic.